My name is Honorable Kennedy Franklin. I want again to address the current economic status of this country and what has made us to get to this situation. I want to say that we have lost a track as the government and this has been brought by these factors. Number one, we have not been having key priority areas. The government has not sat down to set its priority in a clear way. The government does not know what is it that is supposed to be prioritized and then what should follow. Number two is about the fo formulation of policies. The formulation of policies, the implementation of policies and the regulation of policies. I want to say it is a matter and a fact of a policy that makes a country what it is. We should have good policies that is regulating agricultural sector, education sector, health sector, all these sectors. If we want to have good economy, then we must ensure that we have good policies. I want to say again that our MPs have also failed in ensuring that we have got key areas that is affecting this country. The MPs have forgotten their key role. Their major role should be representation. And they have completely failed. When they go to the parliament, they want to be bribed for them to work for the people. And therefore, I want to call each and every member of parliament to ensure that you play a representation role as it should be. It is the parliament that passes the law. And when we pass wrong laws, then the country come back to be affected negatively. That is what has brought us all along to this situation that we are in currently. Look at the policy that is guiding education. You fail to understand that after studies, where do we now take all these graduates? We should have a good policy that ensures that after education there is employment. And I want to challenge this government that today the same, same employment that you pro promised Kenyans when you are campaigning. Now the government is back telling people that we are creating for you online jobs. We have lost the direction. We have lost the direction in this concept. We are saying that we are creating employment. But at the same time, we are seeing quite a number of youths are going outside the country in the name of job search. We have really sold and we have really lost to other countries because now we don't have human resource. What is it that the government is doing on this? We should be producing our experts and employing them here. And a matter that again that I would also want to touch on is that let us embark on empowerment. Empowerment will solve this issue of employment. Let us not so much concentrate just alone on employment. Let us come back to start and asking on how we can empower our people. What I mean by empowerment, you simply go to where and what people have started. That is where you allocate money and then you nurture these people. Because if you talk of employment, you, we have failed in creation of em, uh, empowerment. So let us embark on empowering our people that we are going to solve this situation of unemployment because unemployment has also brought about poor economy now again again what i would also wish to say as an advice to this government again let us embark on uh, fighting corruption corruption has also brought us where we are we are crying of poor economy in the country we we ask ourselves what is it that has made us to reach here corruption bribery nepotism tribalism 
and embezzlement of government resources. We need also to ask ourselves, what is it that we are producing as a country? The country should be a production hub. And again, we should limit the level at which we are doing importation. Importation has also killed the economy of this country. Let us not be a country that is only ready to consume the products that are imported by other countries. Let us learn to produce and export. When we export, we are going to develop as a country. Thank you.